This is Joe from howtoformanllc.org, and today we're going to form an LLC in the state of Connecticut. Now, the first step in uh, forming your LLC is actually choosing a name. Uh, and the best way to do, once you've chosen your name, uh, you want to make sure that no one else has uh, registered that name before. So if you go to our website, which is in the description of uh, this video, uh, there's a link in there that goes to this tool we have, the Connecticut LLC Search, where it'll pull up the Secretary of State's website. And for example, if we wanted to make an LLC uh, name, uh, Muffin LLC, you just type in Muffin. And there are no records for the name Muffin. So uh, if we wanted to call our LLC Muffin LLC, we're able to do that. Now, uh, step one is you have to fill out a Connecticut Articles of Organization, which is the official application to form an LLC in Connecticut. So we just click this. Again, this is all in the description. Uh, the PDF loads, and you're able to fill in the actual uh, Connecticut Articles of Organization that uh, they supply to the public. Uh, there is a filing fee of $120 that you have to make a checkout for. And uh, once you fill all this out, you will print it out and send it to the address right here. And you typically receive your LLC within, uh, in Connecticut, it, it ranges anywhere from 10 to 15 business days. But um, this, these are all questions that are pretty generic. Uh, the filing party... Most likely, if you're setting up a new LLC, that would be you. Uh, the name of the limited liability company, uh, that would be uh, our Muffin LLC that we had done before. Uh, description of the business. I usually just write any lawful uh, business just because uh, it's really, they don't have personally a right to know exactly what I'm doing. So just I usually just write anything legal under the state. Uh, principal office address that's just uh, says where's your headquarters going to be most likely if you're doing an LLC uh, you only have one location uh, mailing address if different um, now this is uh, the big question on this one is uh, the appointment of your statutory agent now this is basically uh, who's going to answer all the uh, legal notices that your LLC gets. This doesn't have to be the owner, even though most of the time it is, but it can be your attorney. Um, and if it's an individual like your attorney, you would click this uh, and write all the information in there and that you need to. And, or if you're going to hire a uh, registering agent business, there are actually businesses that do this service for you that will let you know if any judgment's been posted against you or when you need to re-up. Uh, every year you have to refile your LLC. Um, so if it's a business, you'd click this. And they'd have to sign, print name. Um, this is the manager or member information. Now with LLCs, member means owner. Um, and sometimes managers are hired by the members or the owners. And so if there are any, uh, all the owners, you just want to type in here. Um, and uh, this is number seven, management. Place a check next to the following statement. Only if it applies, management of the LLC shall be vested in a manager or managers. Uh, that just means that the, not the owner, the, the, you will have one manager or managers uh, take care of everything for the LLC. Uh, chances are, again, if you're doing this yourself, that you do not have a manager. So I'd leave that blank. Uh, you write the execution of the date. The organizer, most likely the owner as well. And these are just all the instructions that we have already told you about. So uh, this is it. After you fill this in, you just print it out. Get your check for $120. Send both of them to this address. And that takes care of you. Now, if you want to go a step further, and uh, if you're going to be getting a bank account uh, for your LLC, you want to get an EIN number which is just a tax ID number from the IRS. You can apply right online. Uh, this is the link to it. You just click this apply online now. It'll take you about five minutes 
and it's completely free uh, and you'll get your number instantaneously. Um, another thing you may want to look at is getting an LLC operating agreement. Uh, an LLC operating agreement is basically the only form that you have uh, that identifies who the owners are in an LLC. As you can see on the articles of organization that we just looked at, it never asks for anything about uh, uh, the owners. So you want to make sure that you have one of these, especially if you have over uh, one member. So that's it. That's how you form an LLC in the state of Connecticut.